I'm all like this, eh? <laughs> now be small and laugh. I don't laugh for yes, so. <laughs> As I declare you so. Tenubu na ida de chukat for APC members, are you? <laughs> More than I go watch this video, I wanna see. One APC chief tonight, don't come arise to be called Pooh Book of Lamentations. Full book of lamentations, that the guy who posted, don't they lament any year, say, Baba, they did not let people come for Lagos, only in May, nobody appoint. So before you retire, as so rock safe, you must call person with the Lagos. Before you. <laughs> I just did laugh. What am I naming? Now, if I say anything, when I watch the video, when I hear, yeah, with this guy, they talk. Ah, Rufai, ah, Rufai, we go go bless. Rufai, you're the mock this guy with the questions. We can't question the ask him. Rufai. When I watch our big. A lot of people ask that, why are you bringing this forward as we speak? Why are you talking about it? Doesn't the president have a right to pick his own man? So why are you making it a Lagos thing? Now, thank you, Rufai, for that question. You see, in policy making, generally, in policy making, there are stratas. Even when government want to form a policy, the government also consider public opinion. We consider opinion from the civil society, even from the press. And the public opinion also serve as a feedback mechanism to whatever, whatever program or policy government is backing on. And now, as, uh, as APC uh, stakeholder, as, as an APC stakeholder, we feel this should be needed in the board because I'm a Yoruba man. I'm from Ondo State. And uh, I grew up in Lagos. I know what I'm saying, but I live in Abuja. I work here. I am an employer of labor. I'm, you know, I'm a, a aviation and consultant. But beyond that, I'm also a politician. We see the character of our people. We are in Abuja, we see them. We see Lagos politicians, the way they come in and all that. Let me tell you, you can't get anything done in the villa now without calling somebody from Lagos. Even to some of us that are from Southwest, I, as an individual, even with my, with, with, with my capacity in the party, when I need something, when I want to assess the villa, I must call somebody from Lagos to get access to it. It shouldn't be so. We understand that the president was former governor in Lagos State, and he has his lieutenant, his aide that worked for him. In the same vein, you are now Mr. President, spread out to other, other regions, even beyond Southwest. Because uh, all what we are saying, the evidence are there. The appointment, look at it. They are former this, former that in Lagos. Why not former this, former that in Ondo State, former this, former that in Ekiti? We have capacity. We have men of, you know, of, uh, of great capacities all over the Southwest but, that but, the president but, can, but, can but, pick. So but, what we are saying, but, the president should but, look beyond no, no. Lagos. You know, I deliberately asked you, why are you making it about Lagos? Because it's, it's a deliberate trick question. Truth has to be said. All of these people you claim are from Lagos. Not all of them are from Lagos. Mr. Delia Lake, for instance, is not from Lagos. And that's why I deliberately asked you that question. Why are you making it about Lagos? The other people that were picked, not all of them are from Lagos. So why are you making it about Lagos? Because what you are doing is a dog whistle. And that's why you mentioned Lagos in all of this. I have just given you one instance. Mr. Deli Alake is not from Lagos State. There are many other people that have been picked that are not okay, from fine. Lagos State. There are people that are from the north, part of his special advisors there. All right, take for instance, uh, Ms. Mus Musawa, what, what's her name? Uh, Anatu. Yes, Anatu is not from Lagos. There are other people there that are not from Lagos. So why mention this Lagos thing? Because it's a dog whistle. Eh? Adisa is not from Lagos. Uh, there's somebody from all your states there. Adedeji is from all your state. Rufai, so why I, are you Rufai, mentioning can I, Lagos? Can I butt in? Yes. Rufai, can I can I butt in? If you if you listen to my uh, my preamble earlier, I made mention that this individual may not be Lagos indigenous, but these are people that play their politics in Lagos and have chosen Lagos as their immediate constituency. The, 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 the Delalake you referred to. Yeah, Delalake De, De, De is not from Lagos, but Delalake plays the politics in Lagos, was a commissioner for, for information during uh, Ashwaju's uh, uh, admission as governor. Delalake was, was a commissioner for information. 
We have the host of them. Go through the list. Go through the list. See, when you have a station whereby you have like 20 appointments and you can get about 10, 13 that reside in a particular place, that dwell in a particular place, they are their means of livelihood is from there, that they play their politics in a particular place. So it will be fair for you to make a generalization no, but that, that they are from Lagos. But, but there's also Not some... they are Lagos... Uh, okay, can I come in? But there's also something called the fallacy of hasty generalization here. Anatu Musawa did not play her politics in Lagos. Uh, Mr. Adedeji did not play his politics in Lagos. We can also go on other people. I don't have the list here. There are a lot of people there that didn't play their politics in Lagos. So why this dog whistle about Lagos? Answer that. I've given it to you. And now to Musawa didn't play her politics in Lagos. Mr. Adeleji didn't no, play her no, politics no, if I, in Lagos. If, if I, if, well, Mr. Adeleji Alaki, incidentally. If I listen. You want to revise uh, uh, what you said earlier? If I, I understand. Now, the, the thing is this. I want you to take a very closer look at the appointment so far. The last, the last trench of appointment that was made are 28. Let me even limit my, let me limit my discussion to the last appointment that was the eight that were made, the last 20. You are, made, you are calling Anatu and, uh, and the rest. See, these are, these are just uh, a drop in the ocean, so to say. These are drop in the ocean. And that is why I was telling you that when you have when you have variables of 20, when you have like 20 variables of 20, and 10 to 13 of that variable are from a particular set, you can make a generalization. But that's a fallacy of hasty you generalization. generalization. You're making and a fallacy of hasty generalization. Anyway, can we make that's, progress? That is not correct. We need to make progress no, that on this not, program. That is not Daily correct. If I, may, if I may land on that point, sorry, Ruben. Quickly, do so, ahead. because we have to manage time. Now, you will see, this is quite ironic, because some of the examples, for every example, there can be so many others. Mr. Adele Alake ran for Senate once in a kitchen state. Yes. The deputy governor of Ondo State at the moment, Aye Datiwa, was living in Lagos. He went to his home state to become uh, uh, you know, uh, deputy governor. So you can come with uh, all kinds of examples. But what I find curious here is this. The point about the SGF and the chief of staff. And you are saying that the SGF is superior to the uh, chief of staff to the president. If you could just back that up with a reference, because I'm not aware that it is written anywhere that the office of the SGF is superior to the office of chief of staff. What I know is that the president can delegate an assignment to whoever he chooses. He has such powers. The second thing, somewhere in that your letter of appeal to the president, you were saying uh, when the president was going to uh, uh, the Paris summit, he traveled with uh, people from Lagos, uh, Lagosians, Lagos boys. People, some of them, they don't even have a, a portfolio. Do you know that, in fact, you will probably be vindicating the people who argue that Lagos should be for Lagosians, the people, the indigenous people, those who call themselves indigenous people of Lagos. They will say, look at it now. These people who have come to Lagos, they are now even quarreling among themselves about entitlements. So the conversation is not about service. It's not about agenda. Your support group is not setting an agenda for President Tinubu. You are fighting over who, who gets what position. Who helps the president to carry bag? Maybe when next is going to the U.S. No, I mean, don't you think it, the optics look really bad? Okay, um, let me pick you from there, from your first uh, question about uh, the SGF and the chief of staff. I think the the appointment of SGF is enshrined in the Nigerian Constitution, but I cannot say same for the office of the chief of staff, and. Uh, during Obasanjo administration, there was an administration that didn't even use chief of staff at all. I think Yaradua. Yaradua used principal secretary. He didn't, he, the nomenclature of chief of staff, I think it started from uh, President Obasanjo or so. And uh, what we're saying is this. We have an office that is enshrined in the constitution. I know the president has prerogative to assign and reassign a uh, duty or delegate duty to whoever he chooses. But why, why doing that? The president also have to be very careful in the area of protocol and seniority. In the area of protocol and seniority, you cannot say uh, a vice president is in a committee and uh, you ask the chief of staff to, to chair that, uh, that, 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 that committee because the president has the power to assign and reassign. So we don't feel it should be done in the, in the, in the proper perspective that the AG is supposed to head, to head that uh, 
office because by 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 you know by other protocol the FG the FGS seniors the chief of staff to the uh, you know to the president. Now uh, to the next question, you see what we are saying is this. I'm from Southway. We know how we suffered, how we campaigned rig rigorously for this administration. The kind of campaign we made this time, we didn't even, we didn't even, uh, we didn't do such campaign in 2015, 2019. So for obvious reason, we went out to campaign, to campaign for Mr. President. Now Nigeria has voted for us, you know, across the length of bread. Fine, we give glory to God in that. Now what we are saying is that I think all this I'm saying are not my personal opinion. But we are closer to the people. These are what is going on in the public, that the president is, seems to favor the Lagos politicians. The Lagos politicians. Then it's not left for you to, to distinguish who is Lagos politician, who is not Lagos politician. As I believe the primary definition of Lagos politician are those, even though they are from other states, but they base in Lagos and they play their politics in Lagos. These are friends of Mr. President that were even in his cabinet when he was, uh, when he was governor. So we are not trying to cast as passion, you know, and anybody. We're just telling Mr. Uh, President to, you know, to look, uh, to spread out. It's just an advice to Mr. President to, you know, to spread out. And like I did mention, which I still maintain my point, I did mention the last appointment. Those there are people that have worked with President before, people that are, that are Lagos, that are politicians, you know, in Lagos. So that's what we are saying, that President should, should, should spread out. So it's just, it's a humble, you know, it's a humble call, it's a humble advice, without, you know, hurting anybody, without casting as passion, you know, on, a, on any, any, anyone. Who the president Thank you. appoints, however, is his prerogative, uh, as you yourself know. I mean, people from the Southeast, too, might as well come on television and say, oh, he has not appointed enough Igbos. People from the North Central will say, ah, they too should be, uh, they should be uh, given something. What the federal constitution says, yes, national character, inclusion, but to reduce it to uh, Lagos versus Oyo, Lagos versus um, Ekiti. Uh, it, it looks, uh, it, other Nigerians will be wondering what is going on yes. within the APC. That was actually um, going to be my next question, that um, I, I see that your title is coordinator for support groups in the APC, not just in the Southwest. So I want to assume that your reach covers all support groups across the country, right? The letter says Southwest. That's right. Oh, so, is it? Are you just um, the coordinator for the Southwest wing of the of the support groups? No, no. Let me make. Let, let me make. A, let me make a clarification there. You know, I'm a man of many feathers. I'm the I'm the national coordinator for the conference of all APC support group coordinators. Now we have Southwest coalition, and by the virtue of my position at the national. They feel, okay, they can't have, because, you know, oh, that's my zone, that I should also double as the leader of the Southwest. So that's it. So that letter that was written, was written in my capacity as the leader of a uh, Southwest APC uh, support group yes, uh, I uh, coalition. That. I, the reason and why I was, if you read that letter, we, sorry, yes, sorry, yes. why? Yes. If you, read that, if you read that letter thoroughly, if you read that letter thoroughly, uh, I just want to correct what uh, Dr. Ruben make allusion to. If you read the letter thoroughly, at the end, I said somewhere that the president should look at other parts of the country. Should look at, should spread out and look at other parts of the country. So, th so that is it. That was the point I was going to make, actually, because um, you, you, you have two offices. But your first office primary is in na yeah. is national remit, isn't it? And just to, um, again, take further Dr. Bati's um, point around the fact that the North can say they gave the president more votes than even the Southwest in terms of him emerging as um, president. And so if we had different groups like this within the APC agitating, would that not cause more issues for the president? Are there not matters that can be handled within rather than writing open letters? And in, even though you're saying you're not casting aspersions on the president, it's embarrassing to him. You're criticizing the choice of his, of his appointments. You're criticizing the fact that he's not being a father to all. Does that not go in, you know, against what it is you're saying you're doing? On one hand, praising him that he's doing well, but he is, I mean, it's nepotism you're accusing him of. No, that's not correct. Nobody has the advice. Nobody has, uh, has uh, accused Mr. President of nepotism. No. You see, uh, uh, office of the president is a, is a highly exalted office. And then most of this appointment, people will come with, uh, with advice, suggestion, nomination, and all that when it comes to appointment. 
And uh, by so doing, it could be that those that have direct access to him are people from a particular space. Are people from a particular space. And uh, the president may not even have the opportunity to also engage people from the other space because the president is being surrounded by people from a particular space. So, and being a very busy man, what we are saying, the letter is just to advise that, hey, Mr. President, look at other, don't, you know, don't be under any undue pressure to certain people from a space. Spread out, Mr. President. Spread out to other parts of the country. Spread out to other parts of, uh, of Southwest and by extension other parts of the country. So it's a humble advice. And uh, that is an open letter. Does not mean that uh, we, uh, we cannot reach out to, to Mr. President and another. We know the bureaucracy in presidency. We know the bureaucracy. The letter could be written. I may not even get, get, to, the, get to Mr. President for obvious reason. It may not get to Mr. President because of the issue we are trying to address. So what do we have to do? We have to rely on, 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 on this means by writing an open, you know, open letter. So, okay. so far, the president has not done anything wrong. But what is seemingly happened to be that can cause a disquiet for the particular quarter, and we see it, and we could not say anything, we, we keep, you know, a kind of move about it, I think it will not be doing Mr. President good, and by extension, the party. Okay. So, don't you think you are making the Southwest look very bad as we speak? with this because President Tinubu is not a president for the Southwest. He's a president for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And if you are saying, look at other parts of the Southwest, you are already sectionalizing him as president. So don't you feel this attempt is making the Southwest look very bad? And let me by doing, let me by extension say, don't you think some people will say in some quarters, and you will buy a Ronu? Okay, uh, uh, Rufai, I'm not, I'm not alone in all this. I'm not alone in all this. I could be the face out there, but I'm not alone in all this. There are hundreds of thousands of people that share this view. And we feel the best thing is to nip this on the board. Let me tell you something. If what we are saying, if what we are saying, uh, even though if the steam seems balanced across other parts of the country, not even, let me take my discussion beyond Southwest. Let's say this thing seems balanced. Let's say this, the, 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 the appointment seems balanced. Do you understand? I don't think the letter would have been necessary. Even let's even play beyond Southwest. I don't think the letter would have, why we said Southwest is just because these are Yorubas. These, are, these individuals are Yorubas. Where do they, they could be from other parts of the South, but where do they play their politics? Where do they live? Where do they stay? They stay in a particular state, which is Lagos. And we said, OK, let's look at those that are playing their politics in Akure, in Abekuta, in Abekiti, in Ibadan, in Oshobo, in Abekuta, and the rest. It shouldn't be those that are playing their politics in Lagos alone. So it's a very harmless letter. It's a very harmless letter. And that's what, that, that, that's what we represent. It's our government. It's our government. So whatever we make people to see the government as, a, as, a, as government of a yesterday that seems to be uh, you know, turn towards a particular stock. We don't want it here also. We don't want to have, you know, a replica of it. What do you mean by it's our let's, government? Let's, let's spread out. What do, you mean by, what do you mean by it's our government? Is it the government of the Southwest? Is that what you mean? It's AP, it's, it's, no, it's, no, don't put words in my mouth. It's APC government. That's what I mean. Well, it's our government. It's APC government. 